Hello everybody and welcome to this tutorial. My name is Micah and today I'm going to show you how to use VATSIM. Basically I'm going to show you how to install VATSIM which is the virtual air traffic simulation network and how to download the pro programs you need, install those programs, how to register as well as how to actually utilize the, the VATSIM network inside of X-Plane 11. First and foremost, you'll need to join VATSIM. To do that, go to their main page, which is VATSIM.net. I'll have all links in the description below. Select join here. And you'll have useful documents. You should read those. But prior to going to the sign up page, which is right here, which of course I'll drop that link in the link uh, comment section below, the description below, not comment section. You want to select yes, you have read the VATSIM.net code of regulations, user agreements, and code of conduct. Once you've done that, you're going to fill out all of these pages. First name, last name, email address, confirm your email address, your age range, your password reminder word, state of province, country, who you are, and select your preferred region. And then you're going to select register me. You're going to receive an email address with your VATSIM ID number and a VATSIM password. It is essential that you copy those different types of identifiers, your VATSIM ID and your password whether you write them down, put them in a document, something where you don't lose them, it's essential because you will need those for actually logging into VATSIM itself. Once you've done that, you can go back to the VATSIM.net homepage. We'll do that right now. And you'll go under Pilots and then select Software. Scrolling down to the bottom, you'll find X Squawk Box. This is for X-Plane 11. You're going to go to the link, which will be in the description below. And then you're going to select the latest release. It'll say Xbox X Squawk Box current release, attachment, and then size. X Squawk Box 1.3.3, or whatever the version is, depending on when you're watching this. And it'll say the size here. You select that, and then you select Save File. I'm not going to select Save File because I have already done so. And it's going to download. It shouldn't take too long to download. It's rather a small file. Once that's completed, you're going to bring up your downloads folder and your X-Plane folder. You're going to extract your download that you just did. It'll be XSB dash whatever the version is. Today is 1.3.3. We're going to extract that file, go into that file folder, and you'll find X Squawk Box. Then under your X-Plane 11 directory, go into resources, plugins, and then drag and drop X Squawk Box into your plugins directory. I'm not going to do that because as you see, oops, I have it already installed. Once you've done that, then I'm going to show you basically how to file a flight plan. Going back to the VATSIM main page, go under pilots and select file a flight plan. Under here, there's going to be a link right here. It says VATSIM flight, uh, flight pan, plan page. If I could talk, it'd be great. Select that link, which of course will be in the description below, which is just cert.vatsim.net slash fp slash file.php. Then you're going to enter your type, call sign, specific aircraft, true airspeed, departure point, departure time, cruising altitude, route, destination, estimated time and route, voice capabilities. Are you going to be able to talk to the ATC? If that is so, then you select voice, full voice. If you can only hear ATC, but you'll have to text to them, you select receive only. But if you don't have any type of audio to or from, then you select text only. Remarks, these are optional. You can put, for example, if you're live streaming, you can put your live streaming link there if ATC wants to watch you fly. Put your fuel on board, your hours, your minutes. Alternate airport is optional. Put your pilot's name and aircraft home base right here. Then your VATSIM ID and your VATSIM password. Once you've actually done that, what you'll do is to select file flight plan. Once you've done that, it will have the file. It'll be on file for two hours. So you have two hours in the time you select file your flight plan to actually utilize your flight plan inside of the VATSIM itself. Now that we've installed VATSIM, you've registered and you filed a flight plan. Let's get into X-Plane 11 and I'll show you how to set it up. All right, now we're inside of X-Plane 11. We're sitting here in Miami. I'm going to show you guys how to connect to the VATSIM network. First, what you're going to do is you're going to go up to your plugins. Scroll down until you find X Squawk Box. Then you're going to select connect. However, I wanted to show a couple things, options for you. You're also going to want to do setup audio. 
and it'll walk you through how to do that. It's just setting up your microphone to make sure it's set correctly. You have some preferences options. You have the update weather. You can show who's online. Just several other things as well. You're able to send flight plan and, res and resend flight plan once you're connected, and obviously you can disconnect. So we're going to select connect here. You know, select that as well. And it's hard to see because it's so small uh, on this window, but uh, basically you're going to have your call sign. So you put in your call sign right here. You have your real name, the server that you're on. You select that uh, right now would be USA South. Your port number should leave that as is. Your ID number, which was given to you in that email address. Password, of course, was also given to you. Then you select your model number. Uh, to do that, you just type in whatever you want. Say if it was 767, you would type in 767. If you're 737, then you put it in there as well. Now we're 737-800, so 800. And airline, you would select your airline. You know, if we were Delta Airlines, DAL, American Airlines, AAL, and so forth. Right now, we're not, we don't have an airline because obviously we're in the flight club livery, so we're not an airline. Uh, but you put your airline there, and then you can select your livery as well. Once you've done all that, you can select connect, and it'll connect you to the VATSIM network. You'll see it pops up over here, the weather updates, and we're ready to rock and roll. Quick little side note here. There are some shortcut keys you should be aware of. You should know that over on your numpad, the forward slash key will hide and show the text. To actually text, use the enter key. You can text whatever you want. And to actually send it, you just hit the enter key as well. And if you have the text pop up and you're trying to copy it and it goes away, again, just select your uh, forward slash key and you'll be able to actually see the text that have, been, have come in. To see what's come and what's gone, you, you can use the page up and page down key to cycle through all the text that have gone through your message box. To actually contact someone via the radio systems, you go inside whatever aircraft you are, for example, in the 737, and you select the frequency that the ATC is on. Once you've done that, it'll automatically connect to that voice network, and you'll be able to talk freely to those individuals. So guys, that's basically how you use uh, VATSIM. It's pretty simple. Don't be afraid about trying to get it working. It's not too hard. If you guys have any questions, of course, you can leave a comment down below, and I'll do my best to assist you as I can. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys next time up in the sky.